Hi, welcome to Pet Circle. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to measure and put a harness on your dog. To help, I've got Frankie here. <laughs> the first thing you'll need is a tape measure. You could also use a piece of string and measure against a ruler if you don't have a tape measure. The two areas to measure are around the neck where the collar normally sits, as well as around the thickest portion of the chest. So for example, Frankie measures about 34 centimetres around the neck. And then, good girl. She's about 50 centimetres around the chest. All right, I'll show you the different types of harnesses. So we've got a few different types. We've got the vest harness, the step-in harness, the padded chest harness, the dual strap harness, and the halty training harness. An absolutely key tip I'll give you is to always try and find the top of the harness. Almost all harnesses, except for the halty front leader, typically have the buckle where the leash attaches at the top on the dog's back. So a general rule is to locate the lead buckle clip and you'll know which way is up. So let's start with the vest harness. This one's pretty easy. Locate where the lead would attach, which is here. So you can see that it's got a bit of a loose buckle. Oh, what does that smell like? <laughs> so we know that this is where the leash is attached. So that's going to be at the top. Keep this at the top so we know we can orientate ourselves. So we slip it over the head. And then this vest sits on the chest and gets your little leg through. And then this one just clips under and you're done. The neck isn't adjustable on this one, so do make sure you've measured before buying. The next one we're gonna look at is the step-in harness. This one's also fairly easy to use. Um, it does look a bit confusing, but the trick with this one, just as before, is to find where the lead attaches. So these two buckles here is where your lead will attach. So that just means that this section must go at the top. So unclip it. There's only one clip, so it's nice and easy. And then I like to just put it on the ground. So these are the leg holes here. We'll get Frankie to step in, as the name implies. <laughs> and then you literally just pull it over and then we just clip it up and you're good to go. And then your lead attaches like that. All right, the next one we're gonna look at is the padded chest harness. It's design is similar to the step in harness, except it has the padded chest plate. A trick here is that the wider part of the chest plate will always go at the back. So angle that accordingly. Just as with the pre previous one, we'll unclip it and lay it down. And you can see we've got these two leg holes again. Make sure the um, thicker part of the chest is facing at the back. And then step your dog's little feet in. And then you just do that one up at the back exactly like the other one. And then you're done. Good girl. The next one we've got here is the dual strap harness. This one can be a little bit more tricky, but if you just consult my original trick where you find the buckle the lead attaches to, you'll be fine. So with this one, you know, there are a couple of buckles, so it can look a little bit confusing, but it's always gonna be the one that's fairly loosely attached. This one's holding stuff together, so it's not that one, it's this one. So what we know from that is that that's gonna then sit at the back and the top. This one is one where it only has a buckle at the back. So you do need to do similar to the vest one before, you just basically pop it over the head. <laughs> Good girl. And then pop that leg under. And do that up over the chest. And as I said before, you can see that that buckle does go at the top and at the back. So it makes it a little bit easier. All right, so we've had a look at all our basic harnesses. Now we're gonna look at one that's a little bit more tricky, which is the halty front pull harness. All right, for this one, it's good to have a collar on, so it does require attachment to a collar, so I'm just gonna put Frankie's collar on here. Here we go, good girl. Um, so for this design, this little clip here needs to go at the front of the chest, and then this red strap ties around the back. So what we wanna do is put that over the face, with the little clip at the front of the chest, as I said. And then we do this one, good girl, around the back. So then that just clips up under her legs and it makes a nice loop around her chest. Now we'll get these little ones here and it attaches to the collar as so. So that's all attached really nicely, if you can see there. 
Good girl. This one is best used with a double lead. If you don't have a double lead, you can use two leads or you can just try one attaching to the front. Um, but I've got a double lead here, so I'll, so I'll show you how that one attaches. Basically, we've got this little clip here. So that goes there. And then the other one goes on the back here. And that really nicely allows us to pull at the front while steadying the back. Well, that's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact our friendly customer service team. Woo! Frankie! She says, yeah, pardon. <laughs>